At first glance, it looks like an ordinary shipping container. But with a few adjustments, it soon transforms into a mini power plant, energised purely by the sun. Once the crew of four has pulled out the panelled frames, the container is ready to connect to the power grid. The modules are now generating electricity. A container like this can accommodate about 160 modules, which generate up to 50 kilowatts of power. Components inside, such as inverters and batteries, regulate the electricity around the clock. To ensure it runs smoothly, local electric companies maintain the circuitry on site. Individual homes tap in through the distribution panel, which connects to the power station through one main line. Bernhard Bauersachs installed his first container in Mali. Far from the capital in the village of Mucha, he has supplied power to more than 100 households, as well as the village school. The Mali project only required one of our engineers. He enlisted the help of a few industrious people on the ground there who were good with their hands. With the help of these people and support from the village, they installed the container and were generating electricity by the end of the day. The German company works closely with local partners. Together they train up local people as service technicians. One of those partners is Peter Eumann. He's a businessman from Nigeria. He's now keen to bring these solar power plants to Nigeria too. It's mobility. We can go to different locations where people need the light, uh, mostly for rural areas because uh, power is a key thing. We are trying to generate power to different areas and Nigeria being a large country, Compared to diesel generators, electricity produced by the solar containers isn't just cleaner, it's also cheaper. One kilowatt hour costs 13 euro cents. Diesel power is more than twice that. The mobile solar plant in Mali was financed through small crowdfunding donations from Germany. It works like this. We found investors who gave small amounts of money in the range of 100 to 1,000 euros. A container requires about 150,000 euros when all the costs are factored in. Once investors pay in, they expect to earn interest. Customers in Africa pay back the investment in installments through their electricity bills. Bernhard Bauersachs and Peter Eumann also hope to entice bigger investors to fund solar development in Africa. We thought, starting on a process from the beginning, this is what we are trying to start off. We know if we succeed, we're going to get all the investors to come into our aid because Nigeria needs a startup, like a reference point. The engineers in Germany need one month to construct a mobile power plant. A number of African countries are now interested in the project. This container is going to Nigeria. Soon it will be providing a school with electricity.